Essential Emergency Dispatch Service for Ambulances, which includes the Police Force and Coast Guard, is on a two-month timeline, as Health Minister Nicholas Steele addresses social media concerns on government's priorities and focus. This is one of the many projects being rolled out by the Ministry of Health. However, new Director of Hospital Services, Dr. Carl McIntosh, warns that the two-month period is relative to implementation and training. Give us two months from the time that it has been agreed upon. I know we're sitting here and talking, everyone's like, oh, tomorrow? Where is it? It's not. We have to be clear. It takes money, it takes training, and it takes instituting it. So when we say two months, that's eight weeks. Business weeks, not including the weekends. Highlighting that more money on health would not fix the problem, Minister still notes that as a responsible government, balance must be maintained with sporting facilities, which is another facet of health. Still reiterates that the healthcare problem is not only about money, thus they have been seeking to make improvements and upgrades to equipment and facilities, as well as training for staff. He says capacity building, preparedness for phase two of the general hospital, pediatrics in which the neonatal unit would be further strengthened, are among focus areas for development. In surgery, we have strengthened our surgical department by now having an additional neurosurgeon here in the form of Dr. Nilo from Cuba. And we have a world-class, world-renowned pediatric surgeon that's here come to Grenada as well to live in Grenada. But we're not going to stop there. There's still more. And that's not about the money. The health minister is also boasting of having electronic medical records installed at the health centers with the major hospitals next on the list, which includes refurbishment to all of the medical centers in the mid to long term. Still says their focus is on the level of services offered, the working conditions and the quality of hospital administration, which would directly impact the quality of healthcare provided. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.